Hi. In this video, we're looking at incorporating tunnel states into our cohort simulation in R. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to expand the number of states that we have in our model. Because instead of one diseased state, we're going to have three diseased states. So that takes our total number of states up to five. And then we can just write the names of those diseased states here. So just like we had them in the Excel version, if you've taken a look at that, we have a state called diseased one, a state called diseased two, and then a state called diseased three plus. So our transition probability matrix needs to expand because we've now got uh, two extra rows and two extra columns. So we'll just replace those. We can say NS just so that we don't have to carry around that um, kind of magic number five that we had before. Right, so the probability of us going from the healthy state to the state diseased one is 0 0.03. So that's correct. But the probability of going from healthy to disease two or to diseased three plus is zero. So we need to put those in as well. So that's our first row done. That's what happens uh, from the healthy state, the, the probabilities for where you can reach. Okay, let's have a look at the diseased one state. The probability of going back to the healthy state is zero. Now, because diseased one is a tunnel state, we can't remain in it. So the probability of remaining in that state diseased one is also zero. Then the probability of transitioning to diseased two is 0.92, so that's uh, 1 minus the 0 0.08, which is the probability of dying in the first cycle of the diseased state. The probability of jumping from diseased 1 to diseased 3 plus is 0, and then the probability of dying from the diseased 1 state is 0 0.08. Okay, let's look at disease 2. So zero probability of going to the healthy state, zero probability of going to the diseased one state, zero probability of remaining in the disease two state because once again it's a tunnel state. And then the probability of remaining in diseased two is 0.94 because the probability of dying from the diseased two state is 0 0.06. Okay, right, now let's clear that and we're working on the diseased 3 plus state, probability of going from diseased 3 plus to healthy is zero, to diseased 1 is zero, diseased 2 is zero, but the probability of remaining in the diseased 3 state is 0.96 because the probability of dying from the diseased 3 state is 0 0.04. Okay, and we just need to stick in an extra couple of zeros from the dead state because it's still only possible to remain in the dead state. So if I just run these lines so that you can take a look at what that transition probability matrix looks like, it's doing exactly what we want it to. Okay, so that's a useful check. This state membership line doesn't need changing at all. It's already set up to use the correct number of states. Here our state membership line we've put in, we've kind of hard coded that we needed two extra zeros, so we should really change that. We're going to repeat the number zero ns minus one times. Okay, so when we have five states, we're going to repeat the number zero four times because for these four states, diseased one, disease two, disease three plus and dead, uh, zero people start in that state. Everybody is starting in the healthy state. Okay, so that line is now corrected. This line doesn't need updating at all. Here, this payoffs matrix, we need to account for the fact that we now have five states. So let's start off by saying NS here instead of the kind of magic number three. Let's repeat the cost of the diseased state three times because we have three states for that diseased uh, state as it were. And then the same for the qualies. Now, I think it's probably worth at this point, we can remove that and make it its own variable. So we can call this V 
payoff names. It would also be nice to say the number of payoffs is two. And then we don't have to have that two there. Okay. So here is our code. It should all be complete now. So if we just clear the environment, so we're starting from scratch and press source. It's run our model all the way to the bottom and it's come out with the correct answers that the lifetime average costs and average qualities are shown here. Uh, but the important thing is that these um, tunnel states have been used so that the probability of dying in the diseased state decreases as you spend more time in it.